where is the negative, you know, the stereotype, the negative stereotype for the manosphere? Where is it coming from? Because again, I was invited to the conclave. I've, I've have uh, spoken to Shannon. I've spoken to Obsidian. I've spoken to Lita Turner. I've spoken to a lot of people. And not saying that all of them are a part of the Manosphere, but I think they've been labeled Manosphere. I've been on Sir Hell's show. Y'all know Black Man is on my show. Anyway, I'm not saying that these men are all part of the Manosphere, but excuse me, I've been with these men and I know that they don't hate women. So I was wondering where is this coming from? Because all I'm always hearing is the manosphere, the manosphere, that is actually the excuse for the behaviors. It's, it's definitely, we plan to get back game, you know, tit, tot, what, tit for tat like that. You know, they said this, I say this, but I'm not hearing the men say this. Now, maybe it's because uh, I haven't gone to their shows or what have you, don't know who they are, but I don't know. But again, you can't make a whole group of people, you can't make them responsible for the attitude or the disposition of one person because we were actually meant to be together. And that's ultimately how it's going to be. No matter what vision or picture people paint, it's going to actually be that way. And what I'm seeing now is very, very sad. I, I, I will tell you like this. It's very easy to dismiss something you don't understand. Um, what people don't realize is that the manosphere actually started from men wanting to understand life a little bit better from relationships also to to money to things like that and you visit the uh, the black manosphere conclave earlier right. and i'm pretty sure you get a different uh perspective now that you're in the presence of those gentlemen well here's right. the thing whenever men make a particular point and it requires other people to make a change as well then there's always going to be a pushback it's so easy to dismiss someone by saying, oh, that's just that manosphere. Well, there's a lot of change that came out of that. Kevin came out of that. You know, he made his rounds through the manosphere and he gathered up little different things that men were saying. And then all of a sudden he put two and two together. It was like, hey, this is what's going on. He said, guys, if you get yourself together, then who are you going to have as wives? And that was his mission. So after that, he was like telling women, hey, you know, the guys are ready. These guys are getting ready. They're doing the work. So once they've done the work, they're going to need somebody who's going to help them. What are you going to do to assist a man like this? And to me, he touched a nerve because people want to deal with the top, the top people, the winners. So Kevin was letting them know, hey, in order to do that, this is what you're going to have to do. 